a lot of pot shots today for, for the CEO of Sprint. But what do you think of that guy? Well, I don't know him, but I like this, the fact he speaks his mind, and uh, he's out there vigorously competing in the marketplace, and that's the way we think that uh, that's the way that we think business should work. Why don't we see more CEOs? You know, he, he's tweeting out all day long, doing Periscope. You know, today he told me that the CEO of Sprint was maybe a little, you know, drinky, drinky when uh, the CEO of Sprint tweeted some, you know, nasty things back at him. I mean, he's he's fearless. Well, you know, I, I think more CEOs should, should use social media. I mean, I'll tell you what happened in, in the case of, of Zenefits. Uh, we've been out there in the marketplace providing an innovative solution, and when we um, started getting a lot of traction, ADP, which is this, you know, 60-year-old, um, old economy incumbent company, sued us to try and slow us down. And let's stop. ADP yeah. is a big payrolls company. Right. You guys have been partners for a couple of years, but it's always right. been a kind of strange relationship because you also compete in certain It's areas. sort of a cooperative sort of. There's, there are parts of the relationship that were um, competitive because they offer HR services um, and, and, and benefits and insurance right. services, uh, but we cooperated with respect to payroll. We, we, sold their, uh, we resold their payroll product. Uh, and what happened is, as you know, we recently raised a $500 million um, financing round, and I really think that cemented Zenefit's position as the massive disruptor in this market. They saw the, the fast growth, and a few weeks ago, they decided to block our access to their site. Uh, and when we sought to bring this to light and say that it limited a customer choice and was anti-competitive, they sued for defamation right. to try and silence, silence us. Now, on that note, they yeah. told us legal action taken against benefits was not undertaken lightly and came only after ADP made attempts to resolve these issues directly and amicably with benefits. Those efforts were rebuffed, and benefits embarked on a public campaign of false statements and outright defamation. Well, so we're ready to sit down and resolve this at any time. If they want to meet tomorrow and resolve this, we can. It's kind of hard to do that when they're suing us for defamation. Mm -hmm. And let's just talk about what that suit means. It means they don't like what we say. Uh, they're not suing us for any of these other uh, underlying uh, assertions they made against us. And what I think is highly ironic here is that ADP has been out there spreading a lot of FUD in the marketplace That's about, about us. You know, FUD is a tried and true tra uh, tactic of sort of old incumbent companies. It stands for fear uncertainty and doubt. They like to try and create fear about a new market entrant. And so they've been out there spreading this FUD and then they turn around and sue us for defamation. It's just incredibly ironic. You face other legal disputes with insurance regulators and brokers. I mean, how do you plan to deal with this as a whole quickly? Well, I, I think that, you know, what we're seeing, this is part of a larger issue that when, of the way that the old economy fights back, is that when you have a new economy company come up with an innovative new product, they try to limit, restrict choice for that product. We've seen this with Tesla being banned from selling its cars directly to consumers in New Jersey. We're seeing it with Uber. Um, you know, in New York City, they're trying to cap Uber's growth. We're seeing it with Airbnb. And now we're seeing this happen with, with Zenefits as well. And, you know, we're on the side of consumer choice, and we're not going to stop speaking out about that. And we think, ultimately, the way for uh, consumers to win is to express, express their opinion. So feel free to, to, right. to, uh, to tweet about this.